Hi pilots and co-pilots, Brian here. Another one of my little tips and tricks today. I thought about it the other day whilst doing a flight live streaming that it would be handy to be able to pop up and show people where I was on the flight. Now for those of you like me who are doing the X-Plane 11 beta, when we uh, are in X-Plane we can bring up the map and it is pretty neat. However it's integral to uh, your X-Plane 11 environment and uh, what I actually like to do is use a different mapping application that uses Google Maps and is visible from another machine on your network or in my case I've got a beaten up old Blackberry uh, playbook tablet which isn't much use for anything apart from storing a few documents these days but I also connect it to this and it's able to give me my location and I'll show you what this looks like before I go into how to do it further and uh, just give me a second, I'll bring it up on the screen for you here. So here we go, you can see now the map as it stands. And I'm now looking at this as well. It's a bit difficult to do on the same screen and record this for you. But you can see it's just it's a Google map, exactly as you, you see. I can switch between that and satellite view, map view. Up here you can see I'm connected to localhost, port 8000. Well, if you're on a different machine or you've got a tablet running, make sure you just know the IP of your address that you're running your X-Plane 10 or 11 environment on, and I'll talk you through that in a minute. But So it's fully functional like that, and if I zoom in here, I can see that we're on the air, in the airport. And it will track my flight. We're going to get up in the air and fly around in a minute. So at the moment, we're sitting on the runway there. Okay, you can show nav aids as well. So they turn up if I zoom out. Yeah, so much like the actual built in map, but uh, don't forget this I can run on a different device, which is where the benefit of this is. You can have this on your iPad, you can have it on another tablet, you can have it on a laptop, an old PC. I can show the panel here as well. It allows for multiplayer environments as well, so if there's multiple planes you can see the, the information, it will trace it and you can see, uh, so I'm at 71 feet there, uh, I'm not travelling anywhere right now, and the name for it. So it's a really cool little feature, it's based on Java. Um, let me find what it's listed under in X-Plane. Okay. It's called External Moving Map, and it's at version 1.1 right now. I will include the link in the notes below the video, so you can go and get that. It is a Java-based app, as I said before, so you will need Java on your PC, so whether that's a showstopper if you don't like Java. Um, I'll just turn it off for a second so that you can see explain. Now, um, if I go up here to the configuration area. Now on 10 it looks a little different, but it's the same thing. Your data outputs down to line 20. You can see longitude, latitude, altitude. I don't want any cockpit data graph. I want it network via UDP. So that's what I select. It goes into port 49003 and your local IP address. You click done. You unzip the package you've downloaded from xplane.org and double click on the uh, uh, jar file that comes with it and then go to localhost colon 8000 in your browser like this and uh, it brings up the map and I mean the map's great because it's it's exactly the same as with uh, normal Google stuff I can choose between map and satellite if you so want Let's go back to map there. I think that's more useful for this. I'm just going to zoom out a little bit so I can zoom around. Great for VFR flying. I'm going to reduce the size of it that you're seeing here just for now so I can actually, you can see me flying as well. So I'm just going to set off and take off right now. And I'll zoom back out on the map in a minute. just flying out of Victoria, same place I did the loaf. 
stream from the other day. Bring my gear up. Yep. Okay. Now let's try not to get it so that I'm going to crash the plane. That would not be very good for a demonstration for you here. Hopefully. There we go. Sorry. I know what's happening because I minimized it. It wasn't pulling in fresh information. So you can see, it's now live. There we go. Live tracking my flight. And I'm, I can put mouse over as well. So I can get information on my altitude, what direction I'm going in, my ground speed there. It's 48. 40, 107. Oh, it's just correcting itself there. So great if you're VFR flying and you want to look out, and I can look across to the left here and say, oh, that's uh, Cobble Bay over there, according to that map. And away you go. If I show the panel there. the nav aids. I don't really need to see them on this map. There. That's much nicer. I can zoom way out if I like. So that's it. Uh, as I said earlier, it's called External Moving Map and the version that seems to be the current one on xplane.org is version 1.1. I will include a link with the video when it's posted. So download it, unzip it, run it, change that setting in your X plane, line 20, to an external to uh, your IP. And uh, there are instructions included with the jar file so that you shouldn't get lost with that. Then point your browser or point a laptop or a tablet to it and enjoy tracking your flight on Google Maps while you fly. So, hope this has been a help. I love using this plugin. It lets me work out what the little island's called when I'm flying around this area, beautiful area in BC. So, thanks for watching, and see you again soon.